Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to The Great War Western Front, an upcoming game by Petroglyph Games and published by Frontier Foundry. This is episode number two of our first look at the tutorial in campaign uh, that is part of the demo that's currently available on Steam Next Fest uh, through the 13th of February. So we're a good deal through Steam Next Fest, only a couple of days remaining. If you are interested in checking this game out, there is a link in the description to the Steam page where you can download it for free. Now, this is the tutorial, as I already said, so uh, things are a little bit more spoon-fed. The enemy is not super aggressive, but this is our ability or our attempt uh, to take a first look at the campaign. So we'll see how this plays out. This is part number two of this series. The first part looked at the beginning of the tutorial. We are now getting toward the very end of the tutorial, uh, and we will soon get into a couple of turns in the game that we are allowed to play uh, that kind of go past the tutorial and allow you to fight through, I think, to the end of the war. We'll see. Uh, this was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, so if you're interested in checking those live streams out, there's a link in the description as well for my Twitch channel. Uh, and without further ado, let's jump back into this real-time tactical war game with strategic elements and a strategic grand campaign. Oh, one last thing. The game comes out on March 30th, so the full version of the game will come out on the 30th, and if you pre-order, you get it on the 27th. Not saying you should pre-order. I don't care. I don't get paid anything to say that, but just for your awareness if this is something that looks interesting to you. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and fight this battle. It says, likely result if we were to auto-resolve as a minor victory. Obviously, we're striving for something a little bit more than that. You can see going in, we're going to have 2,400 supply. The enemy has up to 80 battalions of conscripts, 40 of regular infantry, two of uh, stormtroopers, six tanks, six artillery, and four aircraft. We pretty much double them up on, well, on aircraft, not quite double on artillery. Well, more if you include light artillery. Tanks, they might have an advantage. But everything else, we've got a considerable advantage here. Oh, this is known as the boat pl the birthplace of Pope Urban II. Okay. Okay, so welcome to the trenches. Our boys are putting the finishing touches on our defenses, so now is the time to get your bearings. Remember that all tactical battles begin in a pre-battle phase, which allows you to set up your trench lines, company placements, and defenses. You can also use this time to view the layout of the map, including where do the control points are located. Uh, if you fight multiple battles on the same front, the map and trench layout will persist from one battle to the next, as well as the battle scars you... Oh, okay, so battle scars do uh, persist over time. When fighting as the attacker, your trench line uh, don't need to be as sophisticated, but make sure you build at least some defenses so the enemy can't turn the tables on you and counterattack. Short-term goals. While a great victory is needed to reduce a region's star, sometimes achieving a small victory is better in the long run. Even a minor victory will whittle down the enemy national morale, which was a step toward winning the campaign. Some battle uh, pre-battle support elements are placed on targeted in pre-battle. Blah, blah, what are placed or targeted in pre-battle? But are, okay, so it wants us to go here. It wants us to click the undermining explosive here. The enemy objective is over here. So like, I don't really know. This is the problem with the tutorial is it's locking me into this one spot. I don't really know where the. Uh, best places for this but I guess we'll just do this like where's the Ooh, I can I can undermine as far forward as this so we'll do that we'll probably attack from the left then I also want to go here pre-battle bombardment so we have siege artillery battalions allow us to do a pre-battle bombardment what does it want me to do Okay, so we'll do two days of pre-battle. Well, yeah, let's do two days of pre-battle bombardment. Our name is Douglas Haig. Give me all the days of artillery you can give me. Want to build some observation balloons. We'll build two. Place some troops and support structures. Okay. So 
we're in theory on the offensive, right? We're going to blow up something over here on the left. So we're in theory on the offensive, which means we probably don't need to build a whole bunch of trenches. I don't want to waste too much money doing that, but we will, I guess. Can I not? I don't know why I can't build over there. We'll build that. Link them with command trenches. And then we'll also call in some troops. So support stuff. We probably, what do we have? We've got five artillery or four artillery battalions and two light bat battalions. The light battalions do the rolling barrages. Probably going to attack from the left, but let's, let's put a couple of light battalions here. And then let's buy some troops. So Looks like we're late to the party. Reporting American infantry is only five. The French are three. I don't know if the Americans are better or but we have up to thirty units here. So those frontline units here will be Americans. It's also just like make sure our front line isn't totally empty across the line in case the enemy does launch any counterattack. Feels like wasting a considerable amount of our strength on defensive stuff, but. Alright, let's do some French troops. And then we've also got some tanks, right? Probably should have done some raiders too. They're much better on the offensive. Reinforcements reported. All right, so we have two tanks, French MG or C. Cannon mount or machine gun. Let's do an MG. We're going to advance through these woods up here along that flank. But maybe we'll advance up, up the gut, up the main road. I'm not sure. Two machine gun tanks and a cannon tank. Reinforcements are more expensive once the battle starts, so it behooves you to spend what you want to spend pre-battle. All right, raise the balloons. So this is our pre-battle bombardment with our siege guns here. You can see they're doing a decent amount of damage to the defenders here. And then we could do the, is this the undermine here? Detonate the mine. Boom. It's too bad where I detonated it. There weren't a lot of trenches there. Although it looks like we might've wiped out an enemy artillery battalion or battery. So it wants me to use bombing troops. Okay. Take out that uh, machine gun nest. Yeah, so the, the thing we blew up was like between the lines. If I had known where the enemy front line was when I issued the order for that mine, I might have placed it elsewhere. It's kind of annoying. We're going to drop our uh, air attack in here. Siege Barrage! 
Do I have a limit on how often I can do that? They're going to drop their bomb. There we go. All right, so we knocked out that enemy unit here in the front line with our siege barrage, or at least, yeah, it looks like they surrendered. I think we also might have done some damage to the barbed wire here that we're going to have to advance through. Is this guy ever going to drop his bomb? Anyway. All right, so... Let's leave these tanks as is. Let's do this. We're going to pull these... Attention! Four units forward here. Get moving. Into that wood line. Let's just move this whole we left. We need to go. Wood line, everybody we in. Pray to God they don't assault. They don't drop any arty on that. Um, is there an enemy balloon we need to take out? Balloon busting. Go after that balloon. I don't have a ton of supply. I wonder if a precision artillery barrage on this enemy balloon will take it out. Three precision bombardments on this enemy balloon. Let's see what happens. It's cheaper than calling in a balloon busting mission. Wow. It is. So that is a commitment of artillery for sure, but we might finish this guy off here with three barrages. Yep, there we go. That balloon's gone. All right. Our fighters are coming in here to attack the enemy balloon, I think. I really don't understand what this bomber's doing. Do I need to, like, select him to do something? We took that balloon out faster than the F-35 took out the PRC balloon, eh? I don't know if the suppression, the light artillery, how that'll affect this. It looks like it's going down pretty quick, too. So a mixture of light artillery and heavy artillery. I'm going for the balloons first because I want to make sure the enemy can't attack my troops as they move forward here. So this second balloon is destroyed. Can I zoom? I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. Oh, God. Look at this a concentration of troops. These guys already got hit by something. Are they getting shot? Yeah, I think they're getting shot by enemy troops in the trenches. Alright, so since the uh, air units are not doing jack diddly... Oh, they are shooting at it. Oh, there it goes. Well, that was fast. Okay. All right. So, can I do more siege bo bombardments? It doesn't look like it. It's on a cooldown right now. So, I need to take out these enemy troops here in the front lines. Precision barrage against this enemy MG nest. We're going to do a rolling barrage here. I guess I started them. Why is it going sideways? That was not my intent. They're going to get hit in the flank and overwhelmed, I think. Are they even going to make it through the barbed wire? Well, it looks like this barbed wire at least was mostly broken up, or some of it was. This trench line was totally destroyed. I can't even move troops into that trench. Make it! Nope. Oh, the one... There's like one dude. There's like two guys that made it into the trench. Lol. So we took the trench. The enemy's now going to move against us. Which poses the opportunity of hitting them out of the trenches. 
barrage. Préparez-vous, soldats. Coordonnées du barrage roulant établies. Tirez avec toute l'artillerie. Why is it going sideways? It, it, that's not the direction I wanted it to go. Okay. I mean, it serves its purpose to an extent. It gets rid of the trenches there. Alright, let's move the, the tanks up. I mean, you can tell it what direction you want it to go, so, like, you can definitely make it go sideways. In theory, I suppose it's just where my cursors were. Alright, we're harassing the troops on the left to prevent them from shooting at me as I approach. Blasting the hell out of these forward trenches. I don't have the other artillery unlocked yet. Let's keep firing at these troops on this flank. I really shot myself in the foot, by the way, that the... The mortars were handled. Or not the mortars, but the, uh... The, the mine. Okay, this lead unit's getting shot to pieces. We should get at least two decently strengthened companies, maybe three, into the trench line, I think. The enemy MG is down. Is down. Shit, get in here. Forgot there's one understrength unit here on the left trench. They're gonna assault me. Oh god, you're getting killed. Alright, I'm a big artillery fan here, so. Looks like we're gonna get overwhelmed here on this flank. the trench to reinforce. Did I bring my tanks up at all? Oh, they're still sitting back. Alright, so we held off the enemy counterattack. Our tanks are going to run over this barbed wire. You can see they're crushing it. Can they not advance over that trench line? Is it too big of a gap? Uh, well, at least silence that battery for that machine gun nest for now. So there are bigger gaps in, in the front line, it appears. So that enemy MG nest is going to be suppressed, and then we're machine gunning it to death. Looks like the enemy right flank here is largely broken, so let's bring up some more reserves. Let's bring up more of these troops. There's still enemy troops here, too. These tanks are just going to slowly knock out these enemy artillery pieces one at a time. Second Marne was late war. First Marne was not. Ah, yeah, using the arty on the tank. The main gun. We had a, a mine that we dug under the enemy line. Hydro. Alright, so I think we're good here. I think we're just going to advance these troops up into the uh, radius here of this objective ready yourselves take fire in position attention en position de tir i mean 
units are largely destroyed. This map is almost entirely our oh shit, there's enemy troops in this. Alright, go in the go in the bunker. Cause we assaulted one one battalion into that bunker without any support. I'm assuming we're not supposed to see them there. So there were two enemy companies in this command trench or whatever it was. We overwhelmed them. Okay. Are there more troops in this bunker too? Because the command radius should be in our control. Yep, there are. Did I lose one of my tanks? No, one of them is just hanging back. I've got more troops too to bring up. I haven't even called any reinforcements yet. Everybody up into that bunker. Get those bastards. So they're almost dead. All right, let's move these two tanks here to finish off this enemy infantry battalion. Or company or whatever. That's all they have left on this map by the looks of it. There might be more troops here in the rear. I'm, I'm suspecting there are. But we're not fighting them in any event. And so now we're taking the objective here because there's no enemy troops in the command radius of this control point. And so it is falling into our hands. Do we have to take the actual command HQ, though, back here? Oh, there are bivouacs back there? That's cool. You can see a little tents back here. Probably not super 1914 uh, or 15-ish. Or maybe, I don't know. Can the tanks not move that way? Oh, they can. Go get them, little guys. Little buddies. I love how the... Units destroy. Enemy, and like, objectives on the map. We've almost taken Y. You guys not going to shoot? Germ Germans request to surrender. During the battle, the defender can offer to surrender when they feel the battle is lost. Accepting the surrender will give the attacker ownership of all control points, the resulting... In a great victory in a region star loss, while the enemy will always accept a player's surrender, the player can choose to decline. Why would we choose to decline, though? We'll accept the surrender, but, like, what would be the advantage of choosing to decline? It's a tutorial, old, ma old uh, man, so keep that in mind. It's very, very scripted. I guess, Avocado, but if they're going to surrender, are they going to surrender to us? So, great victory. We lost 880, or the enemy lost 882 conscripts and 846 basic infantry, so 1,600 men, actually 1,700 men, and 10 light artillery. We lost 1,700 men. So, a one-to-one, -one, and we're the attacker? That seems like a good trade. We get all the command points, though, big, since we uh, since they surrendered. That's the way the surrender works. Yeah, that's a good point, Sand. If we don't... If it's not the last star on the map and the, the hex is in ours, maybe by continuing to fight, we inflict more casualties on them. Okay, so you can see National Will goes up by 10. There's drops by 20. We spent 126 supply. They spent three or and 396 gold. I think we took that hex. Uh, when you take control of a new region, part of your forces from the attacking region are automatically moved into the new one to keep it defended, and the star level is returned to one. All enemy forces retreat to a nearby friendly region except for siege artillery. Any siege artillery captured in a captured region is destroyed and must be replaced from the purchase menu. All right, so we took that hex. You can see the units that moved forward. Four French infantry corps and a air unit. 
Some of the units remain behind the American units. If units are, are existing, or wait, if there are existing structures in a captured region, those structures are taken over by the new owner, though you can research the ability to destroy them before the enemy uh, can take them over. All newly captured regions regain one star immediately, and they'll regain stars over time as long as they don't take part in a battle. The newly captured region still gains battle fatigue until the new owner's next turn. Victory, if you have uh, any questions about a topic, need a refresher, there's an encyclopedia. Chapter 8, Continuing the War. Are we done with the tutorial? I have nothing more to teach you. Your actions on the battlefield have proven that the Americans are ready and able to fight in this war and defend Paris. Well done. Now that you've completed the tutorial, you are ready for new challenges. Try out the full campaign and see how well you do on the Western Front, or fight a historical battle to relive one of the famous battles of World War I. In the end, I still don't know exactly the reasons why the Great War started, or what it was intended to accomplish, but I do know what the results were. Four empires that crumbled into history, and a bunch of changed borders. Those changes couldn't wipe away the hard feelings that simmered after the war ended. I decided to continue my military career eventually, with my event. Perhaps not as modest move as those hard feelings boiled over into another world war only a little over 20 years later. So there you go. We've completed the tutorial. We can do one of two things. We can either choose to exit to the main menu or... Keep playing. Use what you've learned to continue playing and see how far you get. Turns are one month. I believe they said three to four more turns is how long the tutorial allows you to play. This late in the war, national will will decline each turn. You can play until one side reaches zero. Well, we've got a little bit of an advantage over the Germans then. Their national morale is like half of ours. Okay, so this is like, this is where the training wheels come off, I think. Now we succeeded in winning that last tutorial battle and now we are on our own i guess i probably can't attack out of out of here again this turn uh montmiral these troops are all locked so i can't reinforce our newly taken sector so it would not shock me if the enemy counterattacks me to that uh end we've got what it looks like 80 infantry squads not a lot of artillery Let's do this. Let's shift because Chateau Terry, or however you pronounce it, has, I think, a surplus of troops. Let's move one tank battalion to our newly taken X. So I'll have a tank battalion in defense as well as those. Did I move all my air units? That was not my intent. Um, also, let's shift some American companies over here to Sosson. Well, no, Chateau de Terry is one star, so they likely won't take here, so I won't do that. So what do we do? What do we do? All right, we've got troops back in Paris, right? We've got four infantry sections here. Attack Rethal. Well, I can't attack out of Chanton, and I think Chateau Thierry already... No, they didn't fight. We could do that. Uh, reveal the number of types of all military units in the enemy regions adjacent to the target friendly region. All right, so we got intel on both of these hexes. The Germans appear to have air support, conscript infantry, elite infantry, a tank battalion. So they've got a lot of troops here. They've got five corps of infantry of conscripts, three of elite sort of or regular troops, I guess. Air unit and an, art, an armored unit here, all at Rethel. The objective is 
Grozenach over here to the right. Some of them are in cooldown, yeah, because they fought previously. It would create a bit of a salient, though. Although it is a one-star hex, so we, in theory, could break through the German line there. Maybe I shouldn't have moved those troops of mine to the right flank here because I could have used them to support this attack. But that doesn't matter because I already did it. Um, what if we attack Lille? Minor victory is the forecast. Oh God, do we really have, what do we have here at Calais? Wow, look at all those British troops. I should have moved them down here to defend. Okay, let's do this. I guess let's just try. Let's just see what we can do. I haven't, I haven't, you know, who knows? Maybe the air units can attack if we move them the same turn. I don't think they can, but. Let's go, boys. Let's do our best. Let's do our bit. If we win this battle in a great victory, we will take the hex. The units down here involved is a little bit more even than I anticipated. So let's give it a go. Shall we? All right. So I don't even know. The enemy positions are way back here. Best bet is to attack on the right to point X and then see if we can push in toward the objective. Why can I not build? Oh my God, why is my supply so bad? What did I do? One unit. Is it just because it's a new hex we haven't fought in before? I thought I would have had more supply than this. Apparently, well, we have no depot in this hex because it's a new hex. French units, you get cheaper reinforcements, so we'll go with that. All right, we will do... Two medium tanks. I don't even have any artillery on the map. Fucking A. I'm screwed. I didn't even think about that. Reinforcements ready. Well, in that case, I think our only chance is using armor. Supply is severely depleted. Yes, I'm aware. Of course, if the enemy counterattacks and takes my position, then we may be fucked. Majorly. 
But no artillery bombardment, huh? En avant. Can you guys go around this trench here? Where's that guy going? Can you not? Where do you cross my damn trench lines? There's got to be a way. I've got no recon balloons either. What's this? Look at the strength disparity up here. Oh my god. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to go over to this bunker here where they can cross, I think. Are we losing a hex? Oh, we're losing B. There's enemy air power too. They advance, they like, yep, you guys are weak. We're gonna just attack right away. Okay. Crush him. Are they not shooting at the enemy in the trenches? Can the machine gun tanks not fire at enemy troops in trenches? I don't really know how tanks work, admittedly. In the game. There we go. Open up, boys. Get them. Butcher them. Oh, there's German bombers. Offer a ceasefire, but I can kill Germans. The bastards will die. Uh, someone is shooting artillery or something. I don't know what these streaks are or where they're going. So my tank is losing all of this health because they're shooting at him? I don't quite understand why my tanks aren't shooting at the enemy. It seems like we're just taking damage. At least until they get out of the trench. But why would they do that if I can... I don't understand. That, that might be a bug. All right, so we wiped out that German unit, I think, or at least they're retreating. We'll go back and retake that position. God, this is such a cluster. He made the foolish decision to attack without, su without artillery support. That's me. All right, can I get at least one of my tanks over to support the attack on the right flank? I suppose maybe we should just ask for a ceasefire. I was a little... Overly, I don't know if anxious is the right word, but got out a little bit ahead of myself. Let's leave one tank back here. Well, let's leave both these tanks back here to hold the objective. We'll kind of act as stationary uh, support. The bunkers that I don't have. I think I'm crushing my own barbed wire. On a de nouveaux ordres. Attendez les ordres. We have new orders. We hold here. Everybody move forward. 
these infantry are going to get slaughtered, so let's not move too far forward. The infantry will support the uh, armor, but I don't want to... Is that an enemy artillery bombardment? What's going on there? Oh god, they're strafing my troops in no man's land? Go take that trench. Or we're at least going to knock out that MG bunker. I'm hopeful if they're going to keep shooting at my tank, I can use that as cover for my infantry to advance. Not that that's necessarily ideal, but it looks like the enemy is shooting at my tanks. Rather than my troops, who I left some troops out here in the open. All right, move those tanks. Get out of that artillery range. Fuck. The second, second line did shoot me. Shoot me up pretty good. Well, we're going to lose. Yeah, these are not British tanks. We're a, we have a French armor battalion. Ah, my tanks are gone. I don't have any reserves, do I? I got one raider unit that I didn't call in. And then these other two tanks. There's another MG over here. Let's crush up this. I didn't mean to attack it. I just want to crush up this barbed wire for our one. One raider coming in. And it's dead. All right, let's ask for a ceasefire. Ceasefire, please. <laughs> All right. So that was just me getting out way over my skis. It was a minor defeat for us. So you can see here we lost 12, 1,300 infantry and 23 raiders. They lost 27 or 270 infantry. Oh my God. They lost like 400 men to my like 1,300. They got control point B, but then they didn't hold it. So I'm, I guess that that evens out. Anyway, so much for that fight. So trying to form a Blitzkrieg, generally not going to be great. I guess the only positive there is that it does mean I don't think they get another Hex next turn or another Star next turn because a battle was fought in that Hex. We are going to build depots in this, in this newly taken territory. So we put a depot here. We'll try next turn, I think. The current event. Reinforce French troops at Mont Moral. Weird, because we already took that. Why does it say zero to one? Reinforce with what? I'm not entirely sure if that's like... Wants me to what?
I don't really have an option, at least not this turn, to do anything with the troops already there. All right, let's take a look. Do we want to try and attack Leal? Got a whole bunch of French troops or British troops here. Uh, cancel real quick. Let's actually do this. Let's. All right, so we got army intel. There's three conscript or three infantry corps here. That's a pretty understrength. Let's do this. Give me more supplies. Stand by. So these units can't move and then participate. So even if I move them, they won't participate in the attack. But let's see if we can take Leal with our troops here. We should massively outnumber these guys. Now, it's only going to reduce them from two stars to one, so we won't necessarily take it with this first attack. But maybe we'll take it in the next turn. With that being said, guys, uh, we are already 45 minutes into this thing, and uh, this battle is going to be somewhat long. So we will finish this thing up in our next video. I hope you guys are enjoying this first look at the Great War Western Front by Petroglyph Games. As I said at the beginning of the video, the game comes out on the 30th of March. 27th of you pre-order and things have been a little bit spoon fed but it's been a fun little look at this game again we just finished up the tutorial we had that one really foolish attack which i think i just wasn't prepared for the assault like i didn't have units in position artillery had already moved so it couldn't participate or something like that like i need to go back and look at it in detail but it was definitely my screw up and not the games in terms of why we went in so light on that other battle at least i think that's true uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. We will pick things up with the battle for Lille in our next video. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time, I'm out.